Oh, it would absolutely suck to let someone go. That's like the worst thing. I really hope you don't have to. And that should be the last. Pay yourself nothing but what is necessary to survive before cutting your employee. But if it slows down as much as you suggest with your lack of money in accounts and the monthly obligations you will be required to pay on debts, you might be forced to. And I really hope it doesn't come to that. That would be... That's just, that's just not a good way to run things. Welcome to Monthly Money, where we take a look at someone's past month spending and their income, see how that all comes together to meet their financial goals they're trying to achieve or get over their financial obstacles that are currently holding them back. Today, we are meeting with Slade. Slade, how old are you and where are you based out of? I am 28 and I'm from southeastern Washington. Cool. And what do you do for a living? I own my own business. I own my own auto detailing business. Ooh, and oh, I'm sure there's a lot we could get into there in terms of the money, in terms of the car stuff. I know nothing about that because I don't care about cars, <laughs> but uh, uh, well, how much do you personally bring in into your pocket on a yearly basis? So it's steadily increased every year since I started the business, which is awesome. Um, as of this year, year to date is about 79000 as of last year, it would have been about 40 something thousand. Wow, big jump. What, what is a, what's attributed to this drastic increase? <sighs> My first employee this year. Wow, and hiring that person has really boosted? Everything. Yeah, it basically can do two cars a day now instead of just the one that I was capable of doing every day. That's really cool, that's really cool. Um, well, wow, congratulations on that growth. How many years have you been doing this? Uh, basically five or six legal years, seven or eight years, you know, without the business license, just word of mouth sort of deal. Yeah, for sure. Okay. That makes sense. So like, you think you're going to do like 85, 90 this year? Well, so that's one of the things that we'll hopefully touch on is after about October, end of October, apparently when the weather gets bad, people feel like they don't need to clean their car anymore. So winter is basically a full stop for my business. And after eight years, I still haven't learned that I need to save for that. Um, and that's again, the case this year. So um, it's, uh, I would love to clear that mark that you said, but I, you know, I don't want to put it out there that I won't, but it's not likely that I will. However, we booked a, a ton of business this afternoon. So there's a, there's a shot. Wow. Yeah, it makes sense. As someone who is on the lower end of caring about cars, I can never justify washing cars in rainy seasons, snowy seasons, stuff like that. I just, you know, wait for the sunny seasons. And I mean, that makes sense. Talk your ear off about that. So is this going to be your first winter or slow season with this employee? Yes, it will. What are you going to do with them? Pray. <laughs> um, we work fairly closely with at least one or two dealerships. I hate dealership work. It pays miserably and they always want more for their money, which is fair. Everyone does. Um, so ideally, hopefully they will provide us enough work for me to keep him on board. However, he is very well aware that he is the first to go should something um, not work out. So I, I really don't want that to be the case. Uh, he was hired in April and he's really starting to come into his own. He's providing some awesome work. He's been doing a great job. I, I, I would hire him back in a heartbeat in the next busy season, but you know, you've got to pay workers comp if you let him go and all that stuff. So, so, so far for the year, January 1st, to October 4th, service sales income of $76,910, wholesale resell, uh, non-taxable income of 2,173 equaling $79,083. Now, when it comes for costs of things, the total cost of goods sales is $17,208, mostly job supplies, as you categorized it. And then cost of uh, goods sold was about 1321 Now, in other expenses, there are uh, marketing costs. Uh, <laughs> ask your accountant, is that you talking to your accountant or are you like, you don't know what this is? Exactly. That's when I, if I don't know what the hell it's supposed to go into or what it qualifies as, I put it in there. She reviews it every now and then and sorts it out. Okay. Um, and then she communicates it well to you so you understand what it is? Yep. Very good. Uh, bank charges and fees, car and truck. 
equipment rental insurance, legal professional services, meals and entertainment. Why are meals and entertainment 5,146? Are you just your meals through the day so you can try to get some kind of tax deductions and stuff? Exactly. Yeah. Because I believe you're allowed to write off 50% of that. So, you know, if I order lunch, which a while ago was uh, not, not, I'm lying to you. It's not a while ago. It was you know, as soon as I booked this audit, I said, all right, I got to stop the door dasher. He's going to ream me. Uh-huh. Um, so unfortunately, I couldn't get a statement where you will see that the door dash has stopped. But I promise you, it is significantly reduced. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's because we're quite frankly, we're super busy this year, as those income numbers say. Um, and so sometimes it's just easier to order it. And I know it's not cheaper, but at least I can write off 50 percent of it. So. Okay. And then you've also uh, office supplies and payroll expenses. Uh, Under your payroll expenses, is this including uh, your employees pay? Yes, that's pretty much exclusively what it includes. It also includes the employees payroll taxes, um, L&I, all that good stuff. Wait a second. Okay. Wait a second. I'm a bit. How long has this employee been there? Since April. And he's only made $12,000? I couldn't tell you. I don't have it pulled up in front of me. He makes fifteen an hour. Well, it says wages, $12,000. July, August, September, October. Six months. He gets about $1,000 a check. So he makes $24,000 a year? Okay. Um, and then uh, QuickBook fees, rent and lease. Uh, yeah, that one's an expensive one. And taxes and license are also expensive. And training and education and utilities. Total expenses of 52222 um, And then net operating income, 9653 So I think you misunderstood my first question when I asked how much money is able to go into your pocket. Uh, because after all those expenses, what's actually able to go into your pocket is only 10,000, correct? Um, legally speaking, sure. Um, I definitely try to do as much as I can through the business and, you know, try to find ways to make sure everything can be a business expense, um, as close as I can, obviously, um, home rent, not some, um, well, I mean, I do admin work out of an office at my house, so there's a portion of the square footage of my rent that I can write off for that. So, you know, I really try to find every nickel and dime that I can to help myself with that. In every, every legal loophole, you know, it's in the, that is the law. So may as well take advantage of the law. So I, I definitely don't have any issues with that. Legally speaking. Yes. I make, I take home about $10,000. So, all right. So let's take a the, so you definitely have different kind of accounts compared to, what people would normally send me. So let me see. So silver business checking. Is this, so this is, is this the main account for your business? That is the only account for the business. Yeah. So deposits, we love to see this $15,418. Cool. Card withdrawals, 4,425. Other withdrawals, 9,263. Uh, checks paid 1,025 and a balance of 306. So not much in terms of a balance in your, uh, company's checking account. Now, when it comes to these expenditures, you know, obviously in here, we're not getting the, (laughs) the typical, uh, human expenditures, uh, that you would see at a lot of places. There's lots of business spending. How well do you think you're budgeting these expenditures for your business? Uh Uh-oh. Why? There's no budget. There's no budget ever made. There's no budget happening. I, I don't know how to make a budget. And then when I try, I don't know how to stick to it. I am a, uh, retail therapy. I eat, um, spending money makes me feel good. And so if there is high stress, there is high spending. So there's definitely lots of Amazon purchases, lots of, I mean, probably your website is that Squarespace and um, Napa. So lots of, and then Staples. Oh yeah, DoorDash, 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 DoorDash. Okay, there it is, DoorDash. I see. Yeah, when I look at the right column, DoorDash, DoorDash. Yeah, DoorDash. Okay. 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 Jimmy Johns. Yep. Yep. yep, 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 yep. And that's the business account. 
<laughs> yeah, Jimmy John's Burger King. Well, at least you're getting write offs, but uh, does that necessarily justify even that 50% you have to pay? Probably not, um, because I assume you want to be able to actually have more money, right? Or is this food more impor- important than you having money? <laughs> I do very value, very much value my meals. However, valuing your meals would seem to indicate not having McDonald's or whatever for lunch. Um, it's hard to value that as good food. So it's more of a convenience thing. And I have definitely started grocery shopping and trying to meal prep. Um, so that is a lot better. And currently we're over $3,000 in our checking account right now in the business account. So it, it has improved. Um, but one of my big problems and one of the financial barriers I've been noticing is I, for the last five years, I just keep like, feel like the, the wheels are spinning. Um, the business is growing. Obviously I'm taking on an employee. We're making more and more every year. Um, but it's just, I'm, I haven't felt like I've improved my financial situation in those past five years. Every time we make a big ticket, a big expense surprises us out of nowhere. So all right. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely talk about that. That's but that's yeah, yeah, for sure. And I bet a lot of people relate to that as well, especially small business owners uh, such as yourself. Then there's lots of electronic withdrawals. Um there it's kinda hard to see what they're for. You can kinda see where they're going, but it's more the electronic withdrawal is most likely me pulling money into the personal account to use for living. So what is this? This is a US bank package money market savings. What is the savings for? You or the business or both? Um it's in hopefully for the business, but as you can see, it's got an um, overwhelming balance on it. So yes. Yep. That one cent is gonna (laughs) make or break the day. So why was the a thousand dollars taken out that was in there? Yeah. And that was exactly the situation I was explaining before where it's like, Oh my gosh, this is, we're in a good enough situation right now. I can actually put something in the savings for once. And then guess what? Something broke, and now we need to buy more equipment. What broke? What broke? Um, it was an example that time, but it wasn't an example one of these times. One of the things I sent you was an Affirm um, uh, loan. I did do the four payments. I wanted to get it done as soon as possible, but our pressure washer broke, um, and I did. I just didn't have the capital to get that uh, that paid in full myself right away. So I took out an Affirm loan and four payments at 20 what five percent and uh we got a new pressure washer oh pain my dude pain okay all right well we'll get to infirm in a second we got to go through one more checking u.s bank gold checking is this your checking yeah that's probably the personal account okay cool so beginning balance 288 deposits to 5,103, withdraws to 3,306, uh, and then other withdrawals, $1,609, $475 is left. Okay, so that, that's a good month? Normally, yeah, I think I have 60-something dollars in my personal account, but that's because I don't really pull money out of the business account until I need it in the personal account, so my personal account stays fairly low. I don't want it that way. I would love to have have an emergency fund and have money that when things happen, I, I can just use. But for now, I don't take a whole money, a lot of money out of the business account because the business spends more money than I do. I don't understand why you're getting HelloFresh if you're eating out every day anyway. Well, what's the point? You're paying so much for HelloFresh and it's... I, I eat out for lunch and I make uh, dinner at home. Okay. Uh, well, guess what? It's time to make lunch and it's time to grocery shop for dinner. Yeah, both of those things have already started, thankfully. Very good. I'm glad. I'm glad the content so far has helped get get you started down the path. It was just the nerves of you yelling at me. That's all it took. (laughs) Yeah. Well, it's always out of love. And yeah, hope it doesn't make people afraid of coming on the show. Uh, Remember, it's just out of love. (laughs) <laughs> so, um, and then, yeah, there were DoorDash purchases here as well. And, uh, yeah, DoorDash, HelloFresh, you know, uh, just a lot of spending on here, like Safeway and Venmoing and Amazon and HelloFresh, 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 Amazon, oats overnight. You don't have to do that, dude. It's time to make food. Um, cause even if... <laughs> Even if $75,000 was all you were bringing in and pure profit in your pocket on a yearly basis, 
I would, we would still need to get you on a pretty concrete budget to be able to plan for the rest of your life. And, you know, the, 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 the way you're doing it now is, is just kind of, it's a mess. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just a straight up mess. So let's take a look and see what's going on in the different... Uh, we have two credit cards and an Affirm purchase. So you already mentioned the Affirm, so let's talk about that. So you had to get a pressure washer, and it was like a thousand bucks, nine hundred twenty-four, um, and thirty percent interest, not twenty-five, thirty percent, point zero one percent under thirty. My goodness. So okay, mm, okay, nope. Uh, I, I'm trying to stick to the structure of the video. Well, let's go through the debt, then we'll give my thoughts on what to do. <laughs> instead because <laughs> oh this is yeah okay stress so why uh, because you don't have money anywhere no no, no. so the 500 dollars that was taken the no 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 the a thousand dollars that was taken out where did that go if not paying for this see my my, my pitch is already going higher so <laughs> it's <laughs> you know uh, it was probably to cover payroll to cover the shop rent to cover some sort of expense okay so you have two payments left and then it's done. At least it's a short term, but that interest is horrible. Um, I have so many thoughts going through my head right now. Um, oh, feel free. Well, no, no, no. I'm just, I want to get through these first. Um, a Capital One credit card with a balance of 838. Uh, it was 862. Then you paid $25. And then there is, of course, interest. And uh, I, uh, was there? No, there was no interest charge actually in that statement. Is this interest free for a bit? Are you in like an intro period? Not to my knowledge. Well, no interest has been charged so far. Is this very new? Wait, let me see. Uh, purchases, no previous balance. When did you uh, rack up this 831 on a credit limit of 1300 It was probably a few months ago. So, billing cycle... Yeah, I think your interest rate will be kicking in here very soon. So that will be important to take care of. Oh, sir. And then we have a Verde credit card. Uh, credit limit of 1500 What do we have? Uh, previous balance of 1094 uh, Purchases of $17. So you're purchasing on a card that's already maxed, uh, close to max out at 1094 Previous balance with a payment of 157 <coughs> And then interest charge of $25. That's... That hurts. And McDonald's, what are you doing a McDonald's purchase on here? If you already have a balance, why are you using this card? It was a day I forgot my wallet and my credit card was the only thing in my truck at the time. So, you know, I just handed it over. So as you can see, it's the only purchase that month. Um, so it's not, I don't really use the credit cards. I want them gone. Uh, I don't want them gone, but I want them paid off or at least lowered. Um, so I, I haven't used them for a while. The money's cash flow has been okay but usually it's the credit cards that supplement the cash flow and that's what gets me that was an expensive mcdonald's trip by the way <laughs> really yeah and then what is this napa auto parts thing is this uh so this is debt that you owe yeah so over the summer um when we moved into our new shop it has no ac uh, 100 degree weather. We needed something to keep us cool while we worked, and we ordered a large uh, form swamp cooler from Napa, and they would uh, take it off. They did it in what? What is it like? I think it's 10 payments or something of that nature, uh, interest free. Uh, I'm not seeing the past ones, but I am seeing it will be finished on the first of the year. With oh my goodness, how much was this total? What was this total thing? Because these payments are four hundred eight dollars. It was two thousand and some change. Dude, wait, you're renting this place? Why? Okay, but um, you didn't want to like negotiate with the landlord to get them to put something in or find a place that already had something that was cool or like. Shop space in this town is more rare than the rarest thing you can think of. So it was a. Uh, it was lucky to even find a shop after we were deciding to move out of our old one. Um, so, and, and the landlord said he, he has no intention of, of putting any money into it until uh, for someone to move in. Cause quite frankly, he knew he, the funny old saying, I know what I got. He knew what he had and what he was selling or what he was renting it for was 
very handsome. So we had to jump on it. And instead of paying to put AC in to the building, um, which would have been multiple thousands of dollars on my part, I offered to, or I decided to just get myself um, a slightly cheaper option. Glad you definitely didn't put it into the building. That would have been stupid. So good. Yeah. Uh, what, what's, the, what, what's the interest rate on this thing? I can't see. There is none. Okay. So at least it's 0% financed. Okay. Thank goodness. Not that I'm happy you financed, but okay. So we need to go back to the business P&L and we need to, we need to take a look at this crap because it is time to, okay. First of all, yeah, no, because you're cleaning all this crap up, you're not spending a single cent, even though uh, some of it can be right off some of it, not all of it. You're still spending money. So there's no more money on, uh, uh, going out to eat now. There's no more. You're eating ham and cheese sandwiches. You're not getting any food for your employee. He can figure it out on his own. Uh, so ham and cheese sandwich for uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and uh, until you clean this crap up. The job supplies fifteen thousand eight hundred eighty-six. I don't know how that's broken down. I don't know what can be cut back there, if anything. Uh, what is this advertise that you're doing five thousand dollars? Uh, we spend about $250 a month through Google ads and we do a miscellaneous amount of Facebook advertising as well. And then any local advertising that we do, we also throw in there too. Okay. Car and truck? Uh, like fuel and stuff like that to and from work, all that good stuff. Oil changes, yada, yada, yada. Legal and professional services, uh, for 918. Where you're, where are you like forming an LLC or something? Correct. Yeah, we have LLC starting next year. Okay, and that's something I just am going through right now. So congrats. Uh, yeah, yeah, money. Being sp- oh yay! You don't sound too thrilled. <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> no, but whatever. Meals and entertainment, no more. That's not there anymore. So five thousand dollars taken out of the bills immediately. Meals and entertainment doesn't exist. It's not a category anymore. Office supplies and software. Let's try to just get literally what we need and nothing more. Nothing more. You do not need extra staplers or Microsoft Excel if it's never used. You know, whatever the example is. Again, it's not broken down, so it's it's really hard to say what to cut. Um, but, yeah. Um... Rent and lease, you know, that is what it is. Got to pay taxes. Training and education. Did you, like, send your person somewhere? or? Uh, we both went to uh, Seattle for training in a new service. That has very much already paid for itself. Uh, yeah. That is a very popular service that we now offer, and, and we have people almost lining up out, out the door for it. That's probably another reason we've made so much mon- more money this year as well. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, definitely a good return on uh, investment when it comes to a lot of educational choices, so I'm happy to see that. I mean, again, without a lot of these breakdowns, the thing I can 100% say is, like, all the extra supplies and stuff, you know, like, don't frou-frou the place and don't, uh, no more ordering for food. You're just, you're only cooking, and then you're kind of cooking with the cheapest stuff. And you're paying off these debts immediately. The crazy part is there's not, a lot of debt. The firm will be gone. Well, what? Oh, what? What? So that whole service that we offer now, it comes with a slight caveat in that we had to order a large form um, piece of equipment in order to make it um, as easy as it is. Uh, That piece of equipment costs us, it's a lease to own. So we will eventually own it, but it is being leased. The current balance is $4,363 with a $265 a month payment. How many more months? Uh, whatever 4300 4, divided by 265 is. I couldn't get a statement for this. You just started it? It was a couple months ago, yeah. It was about a five, five, fifty-two to $5,500 piece of equipment. So it's only been, you know... I'm sorry. What, what what's the balance again? Uh, forty three sixty three. What's the monthly payment? Two sixty five. Sixteen months. Just under a year and a half. What's what's like the interest on this? 
to my knowledge, there is none because it's a lease to own, but that would have been a really easy thing to know with the statement that I couldn't get. But I do know that the balance with, you know, finance fee and everything included, they assured me was 43.63. So in theory, that includes the um, interest. Yeah, because it's baked in. Okay. Dang it. Okay. Uh, okay. So no matter what, a firm's done in two payments. So just do that. Make sure it's paid off. That's f- fine. Um, then just seriously, with the amount of money that you spend on a month eating out in your personal account and yourself, oh, what's your personal rent? Uh, personal rent is 750 Do you have any car payments or anything? I own both my cars. What monthly obligations do you have besides your own rent, your own utilities? And you included gas in the uh, business, so... Rent, utilities, and minimal groceries. What else? Um, that is not business related. Yeah, that is just that you have to take care of for yourself, non-business. Everyone's got the you know miscellaneous um, Netflix and all that subscriptions and stuff like that. So there's probably a few of those in there. Okay, well you don't anymore. You have um, essentially you have essentially less than a thousand dollars you pull out every month, and you live off of scraps. You live off of uh, packet ramen uh, for a couple months while well, you figure this out. You pay your rent, you pay your utilities, and then you pay nothing at the grocery store for food, essentially. You pay only what you need to survive. And then all the... Are these credit cards through the business or are you? Me. Oh, okay. So you will have to take out uh, some of the money and you will... Ah, oh, crap. Oh, yeah, the verding one's a slightly more. So this Capital One... Uh, I see no reason why you can't pay off this Capital One. Uh, we're beginning October. By the end of this month or mid next month, if you essentially cut all the food spending and any other miscellaneous spending, you only do the necessities to keep your business alive, and you only do the necessities to keep you alive. Other than that, this card, I see no reason why the Capital One's not paid off end of this month or halfway through the next month, and then uh, towards the end of next month or halfway through. We're in October, aren't we? So halfway through December, um, I see no reason why. Uh, by the end of December, you should have no more credit card debt. Uh, our firm will be gone. Yeah. If the income were the same, I would agree with you. Ah, crap. You're right. I keep forgetting. It's you. pretty much I make no money. So what's the percentage like decrease that? 75. 75. How are you, gonna, how are you paying your employee? That's... I'm really hoping it doesn't decrease by 75. Like I said, uh, it's it's a lot of hope. Yeah, a lot of hopium. Obviously, what you were supposed to do within this last year is not spend all the stupid money and save up a business emergency fund that gets you through the winter, but now it's too late. Oh, it's a mess. It's a mess. Oh, crap. Okay, well, I think you can at least pay off that now I can't see because I stress took off my glasses. I think you could, the affirm will be gone because it's not a choice. Uh, the Capital One, I think you can at least pay that off. Pay that. When does when does the slow season start officially? It it used to be October, but October is looking better than September and August combined. So I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if um, economy weirdness is affecting our business or what, but. Um, it should already have started to slow down, and it has only sped up. Obviously, we hope that pace continues, but oh, geez. Right. Okay, well, take this incredible month that you're already seeing. Well, we're barely into October, so. But take this incredible thing that you're seeing and pay down this crap as much as you can. As much as you can. Um, oh, it would absolutely suck to let someone go. That's like the worst thing. I really hope you don't have to. And that should be the last. Pay yourself nothing but what is necessary to survive before cutting your employee. But if it slows down as much as you suggest with your lack of money in accounts and the monthly obligations you will be required to pay on debts, you might be forced to. And I really hope it doesn't come to that. That would be... That's just, that's just not a good way to run things. Um, 
Uh, pay off that Capital One. Pay off that Capital One if this continues. If the month continues to be as good as you say, you might be able to pay off the, the Verve as well. If, I mean, the, 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 if the, oh crap. I wish I had a statement for your lease, but if it's the way that we discussed it, you're at least the owner, if it's the way we discussed it, then um, maybe you just do minimum monthly payments until that thing's paid off and under a year and a half. And a firm will be paid off by the, what are the payments every two weeks, every month? What is it? Uh, October 25th, November 25th, every month. Okay, so that'll be paid off end of, uh, end of November. So I see no reason why you at least don't have the two credit cards because they're not big. They're not big. And the business brings in enough money to take care of that, your necessities, and paying him 15 bucks an hour. Um, so I really think that the firm and the two minimal credit cards will be gone in by the end of November. I just hope that some of the fire, the, the some of the uh, the good stuff, the good business you're seeing right now continues through November to help with that. But uh, yeah, there is lots of hope involved because you've given yourself no cushion. No cushion whatsoever, but I think you should be able to do that unless there's an immediate and drastic stop in business starting like now. Um, if it doesn't, put everything towards it. Put everything seriously towards it right now that you can while business is good instead of having to worry about these minimum monthlies once business slows down. Put everything towards it that you can. Pay it off. Now. Double double and triple booked for the rest of the month. So there is solid income the rest of this month guaranteed. Then there's no reason why you don't put everything towards this then and just pay, maybe just pay off all three of these by the end of the month. And then it may be the least to own if it's, you know, what we've said, minimum monthly payment throughout. Now, going into the winter, anything that once these are all paid off, anything that you can save that does not go to your survival Anything that you can save that doesn't go to paying your employee, well, obviously, that's actually after, before the fact anyway. So anything that you don't need for your survival and the basic survival of the business, you are taking and putting it into your business account, and you have a minimum. Calculate what it costs to, for your employee and the operating expenses for your business. Maybe ask your accountant if you have to, whatever it costs to run your business for six months, and have that amount in there. Minimum, I would do a year. I like doing a year emergency fund for businesses because it can just be, it can just fluctuate so much. That's what I'm doing for this YouTube channel. But minimum six months I would do for this. Um, and then you need to have that uh, before you do any other investing into different avenues of other profit potentials. I want you to be able to take those risks to get those extra profits for the business, but we need you to have a base first. Does that six to 12 months business emergency fund, is that just for the business or would you consider that good for my personal and my business life? Man, I think you got to take care, take care of your business first. And then once you get your business to six months, then, I mean, I would have like a thousand or 2000 on the side for you, but, and then you need to get yourself a uh, emergency fund as well. The, the uh, business emergency fund is what it needs for the business sur to survive for six months. That doesn't mean you're necessarily, you know, 100% taking care of yourself. It's just making sure the business doesn't go under and your employees don't go under. So, and then, yes, you do need to have an emergency fund for yourself. There's a lot of catching up to do. Luckily, your business is starting to be in a place where you can do that. You just have to prioritize your spending. And without a breakdown in a lot of the purchases, you know, it's hard to say exactly what to cut back on, but you, whatever it takes for you to budget, you need to do it. Just know that it's the survival of you and your business. I'm going to miss that fast food. Yeah. Well, you can have, you can have it again in maybe a year or two once you take care of this mess. All right. You got it. Let Slade know what you think about his financial situation in the comments below. And if you have a financial situation that I could help with, please feel free to email me at castingcalebhammer at gmail.com. Shout out to my four cups of coffee supporters of Deal Martinez, Mark, Josh Bennett, Clayton006, Tyler Chong, Drew Smith, Timothy Williams, Sam I am, Jason Spriggs, Nicholas Daly, Tom L, Jay Freedom, and Hans. Eight cups of coffee supporters making the dream come true. Joseph Strickland, Anthony, Anonymous Supporter, and Sam V03. Subscribe and stick around for more. Thanks.